All right, let's get this going. All right, boys and girls, we've wrapped up our St. Louis Cardinals franchise with a World Series sweep of the Minnesota Twins. And now we're going to do a uh, relocation franchise. I tried this last year, just doing individual episodes on YouTube. Didn't work out too well. So um, instead of trying to just do the uh, YouTube YouTube shorter episode type franchise, we're just going to stay with the uh, streaming stuff. If you like it, great. If you don't, there's other people to watch. Um this one's going to be a little different. We're going to take Oakland, and we're not going to put them in a new ball. Well, we are putting them in a new ballpark, but we're putting them in another state. So we're going to move them to Utah, change their name to the Utah Avengers, get new colors and logo and stadium and everything, and uh, go from there. So here's what the plan is for... Year one, while we're still in Oakland, because we can't relocate till the end of the season, uh, we're going to leave them in uh, the Coliseum. Um, we are we're going to do a lot of simming. We're going to go fast this first year. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be in spring training today. We're just gonna sim um, and get through spring training. I'm going to make some trades before we even get started with spring training. And we're going to focus heavily on scouting and getting ready for the draft. Um, this first episode is going to take us um, to or through the trade deadline. Um, might want to get us through the trade deadline so we can see what our draft picks look like. Um, let me get my notes here. Because I had to find out when we were drafting and all that good stuff. Um, we have the number four pick, the number 39 pick, the number 72, 78, 108, 138, 168. So we have six picks, seven picks, I'm sorry, can't count. Seven picks, two in the second round. Um, one of those is like a competitive balance type round. Um so we will get seven players that's good um i'm sure it's going to be dominated by pitchers but we're going to try hopefully with the fourth pick there's someone available and we can draft um a hitter and then go after prospect pitchers because the team desperately needs everything but definitely need pitching um if we don't get the hitter and there's a stud pitcher obviously we'll take that because you know that's half the game so we're going to go through the all-star break, through the trade deadline, all of that in one stream today. Um, not a ton of gameplay. We'll throw in some some uh, player locks or critical situations or whatever. Um, so we have some gameplay, but mostly it's a process of getting us through this season as quickly as possible. Um, so we're going to play the entire first season in two streams. We'll do this one through the trade deadline. The next one will finish off the last two months. Um, we will then relocate the team and give it new colors and logos and do that whole process. I can show you how to do that. And then we will get through the entire off season up to spring training and that will end our first season. And then for season two, when we're actually in Utah, we will go back to our normal way of doing things where we play opening day and do one month per stream. Um, so we'll have April, May, June, all the way through, right? Um, and we'll still be focused on the draft because this team doesn't have a lot of money to spend. So the cheaper we can get players, the better. Um, in that vein, I will be trading off a lot of players that have any kind of money contract-wise, except for the ones that I've already given extensions to. I'll show you that right here. Um, I re-signed S.E. Ruiz on a one-year deal. J.J. Bladé on a two-year deal. Shea Langliers on a three-year deal. Um, Lawrence Butler on a two-year deal. Mason Miller on a two-year. Brent Rooker on a three-year. Um, not spending any money on those guys. Three million is the most I'm spending per year on any of those players. Uh, but all the uh, expensive players that are already 
on the team, the older ones. We'll ship those out at the deadline or some of them right now. Um, I have some trades lined up. Um, trades. Yeah, they are. Right there. And looking at free agents for next year, we have guys like Teoscar Hernandez, Jack Flaherty, Shane Bieber, Max Freed, um, Willie Azamas, Luke Weaver. I will definitely be interested in Flaherty, Bieber, Freed. I don't know if I'll sign more than one, but I definitely want to get a top of the rotation guy um, that can carry us while we develop pitchers. Adamas, um, we need power once we go to Utah because it's at altitude. It's 4,200 feet. So we need to make sure we have some guys that can drive the ball out of the ballpark. And we also need pitchers that can strike people out. So I might be adding some veterans while we try to build up our young players. Um, this one is not specifically geared towards being realistic. It's just going to be, I'm going to do what I want to do with this team and we will just have fun and we'll just go from there. So first of all, we have, there are several free agents that are just sitting out here for us to go grab um, and I will be adding and subtracting some of the prospects off this team, getting rid of some of the older guys, adding in some of the newer guys, younger guys. And then we will make several trades. I have one, two, three, four, five trades lined up. Five trades. Um, and a bunch of free agent signings for guys that are just sitting out here. Um, so we'll, we'll do that. So first of all, Let's get rid of some pitchers. Cohen is released. Pruitt is going to be released. We're going to eat some money on these deals. Yeah, if they're 30 years old and they're not even in anywhere close to 70, they're they're going away. Let's get rid of some of these starters too. Uh, beers. Fishing. Maybe I don't add him. I have him listed twice, so that's fine. Um, third base. We are just going through and dropping players so we can go back and add other guys off free agency. So we have 12 guys we can add. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need to cut one, two more players. Two more players. All right, let's see. Two more players. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Yeah, no. Gonna cut one more player. Let's get rid of this guy. All right. I think we're done cutting, so now let's go add some players. We'll start at the bottom of the list. Gomez. Zadi.
Yeah, left field. Jigba. We'll make sure these guys are not on the 40 man. It's not right away. There you go. All right. Shortstop, Jeter Downs. What's up, Wes? Yankees? Eh, well, I'm not a Yankee fan, so... But, yeah, it's tough when you, when you fall apart and crash and burn in one inning and it just kind of goes away. <laughs> I'm a Cardinal fan, so I didn't like the Yankees or the Dodgers. All right, let's go back to starting pitchers. There he is. Okay. Now we go to relievers. Ban. Castro. Ah, that's not what I wanted. God damn it. Did not want to sign him to that deal. One point six over five. We'll end up trading him away anyway. That's I don't wanna I wanna eat you know I, I can afford to eat that money. I'll just keep him. hell with it. Serve me right for going too fast. Hold on. Let me get through this uh all of these signings. All right. Some of these closers are going to be moved to just regular relief pitching. I'm going to change their position. All right. We at, we're at 93. So now when I make these trades, I can add Nixon Zell last. All right. Closing pitchers. We're going to move him to relief pitcher. And you're going to go to relief pitcher. And we will move you to just straight relief pitcher. There we go. All right. So we've improved their MLB bullpen quite a bit. And now we have some young guys here that can get better. All right. So got all the trades. I'm sorry. All the free agent cuts and ads. Um, so now we got to start doing some trades. Oakland's without a team. It's a shame because I, I was a huge A's fan as a kid. I mean, I'm from St. Louis. I've rooted for the Cardinals my whole life. But I, I the first World Series I remember watching was 1972. So I followed the A's because they had the, the long hair and the mustaches and the wild colored uniforms before everybody else started wearing them in the 70s. And uh, loved them through there. Loved them with Ricky Henderson in the 80s and... Guire Canseco and all that in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, it's a shame <clears throat> that their owner is such a douchebag. So <laughs> um, they should have fixed that ballpark, though, a long time ago. Long time ago. What's up, Ty Spot? How you doing, man? Welcome in. Yep, here's what we've done so far. I haven't missed a whole lot. We, uh, we, uh, Signed extensions for Brent Rooker, three years at just under $10 million. Mason Miller, two years. Lawrence Butler, two years. 
Langoliers, three years. Blade, two years. S.C. Ruiz for one. Um, and then we released a whole bunch of guys off the minor leagues. And then we signed a whole bunch of guys as free agents. And right now I'm going to make some trades. Um, we are going to try and get this roster in a little bit better shape. Um, so I want to move some prospects around and get some other stuff in here. So the first trade I'm going to do is I'm trading Zach Galoff away. Why would I trade him? He's only 24. Well, he does hit righties really well. He hits lefties terrible. And his vision, discipline, and clutch are terrible. He's got a terrible arm. He's just not a great prospect, right? So I'm trading him. After this trade, I'm going to move Jordan Westberg back to third base. Because we are trading for Kobe Mayo. So he's two years younger, same potential, only one overall less, makes essentially the same money, but we don't have a whole lot at third base. And so he's got much better contact and power than anything else we have at third base. His clutch is low though. Um, his durability should be pushed up. His fielding isn't great. It's not the worst, um, but I want to get that bat because of where we're playing next season. Um, when we move to Utah, like I said before, it's at altitude is 4,200 feet. So the ball's going to travel. So it's hard to find good third baseman in this game. And if we happen to find one, then we can move him to the outfield or DH or first base or whatever. Um, but Kobe Mayo is going to replace Zach Geloff. And that's the first trade. Then that sets up this trade where we trade Daryl Harnais to Cincinnati. For Ahmed Rosario, who's going to take over at second base. And he's got much better contact and vision, speed. His defense is okay. He could shift to be some sort of... Uh, Utility player down the road, but it gives us a much better contact hitter. So basically, Rosario and Geloff and Hernandez and May and uh, Mayo. I think we come ahead in that deal, so we're going to make that deal. All right, and we are going to trade. Max Muncy Funky Colt Medina to the Twins for Emmanuel Rodriguez. He's only C potential, but he is 21. Left-handed bat. Good defense, good speed. Hits right, he's better. And uh, we're never going to use Medina and Muncy's buried so I'm making that trade. Now that will open up a spot for us to go in here and add Nixon Zell Almost three million per. Uh, Sinzel is going to give us great depth off the uh, on the bench here. He's got great contact against lefties. We could actually put Mayo down in AAA. He doesn't have to play right away. We could go with Mayo and somebody else. Toro's probably one that's going to get dealt out of here. Um, so what's next? Again, did that? Did that? Did that? Did that? All right. So now we're going to dump contract here. So we're going to go Alex Wood and Seth Brown. 
let's throw in Toro and go to the Rockies. We're going to take John Curtis, Jordan Beck, Jordan back. Yeah, his clutch is terrible. Let's go back to what we were doing originally. All right, so we're going to get two young guys that are in the uh, low 60s plus a reliever. Actually, if I don't take Curtis, I don't take Brecht. We can get Chase Dolander. Let's not take him. Let's do that. If we don't take Brecht, I'd love to have Con. I'm not going to do it. But if you get Zach Veen. You could play left field. Condon was their first round pick. Yeah, let's do that. So Adam, Alex Wood, Seth Brown, Adam, Abraham Toro for Brecht and Veen. All right. We have one guy to add. We traded. Let's see. Pablo Sanchez. He's a, he's a D. He's a C. He's 23. He's not good. Let's go look at relievers. Oh, got a two-way player here. Guy can play second, short, third, left, center, and right, and relief. <laughs> Can't hit. 
can play defense, but check that out. That's wild. I'm going to have to let my dogs in here in a minute. Fruit Baker. Yeah, I don't give one fuck about the uh, WNBA. I'm, I'm going to be playing. We're going to add him Joe Rickles. Don't give one shit. Outside of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese and a few other girls, they're the only ones I've, I know by name, and I just cannot get excited about WNBA, don't care. <laughs> don't care. I don't even want the NBA here. Don't care either. Hold on, I'll be right back. Come on, girls. Inside. Go. Go. Oh. Hi. Go lay down. Go on. I really don't care. I used to be... Uh, an NBA fan back in the late seventies and eighties, all the way up into the early nineties. But after, after, uh, I'd like say the end of Shaq and Kobe, anything beyond newer than that, I don't give a shit about, don't care. <laughs> it's just the way it is, man. You like what you like and you don't like what you don't like. And I don't like how they play basketball anymore. Let's move this guy to reliever. Not closer. Got to make sure we have enough relief pitchers to get through the season. So, all right. So, we have... Oh, I had one more. I had one more. Hold on. I'm short at second base. Can any of these guys move to second? Yeah, let's move Brett Harris to second base. Okay, because we're going to trade Max. And I'll show you why. And we're going to have to see if we can... Maybe we can get another player back. Um, we were trading... Mason Barnett, Max Schumann. And we're sending him to the Astros to get Luis Garcia. That's great pitching clutch. He's only 27 years old, not making anything. And that right there would get us a good pitcher at the top of the rotation who's relatively young. And we have another free agent we can add. So, any more closers we can steal and move over? He's a D. He's a C. He's right hand. Got any lefties in here? There. Let's grab this guy. All right. We have 93 players. We need, we have four guys that can go to, we got to trade Stripling. Okay, give me a second. You're going to the 40 man. You're going to the 40 man. And Underwood. Let's see who can drop off the 40 man. All right, 
take you off. Take you off. more trade what can we get for the 12 and a half million dollars we don't need You can get a 24 year old relief pitcher. That's a 67. Cole Wynn. All right. Robert Garcia. Anybody else? <laughs> Xander Bogarts. That contract is terrible. Garcia on the Nationals and win on the Rangers. Let's go check these guys out. Good home runs, good hits. Okay. Pitching clutch is terrible. All right, we're going to do this trade with the uh, Rangers, and we'll take Cole Win. What's our budget look like? We have spent thirty-eight million dollars on our roster. Thirty-eight million is all we've spent. <laughs> look at that. Three million dollars. Disappointing city. Yeah, well, they wouldn't have all the murders if they'd actually fucking arrest the people. <laughs> Don't let them go out on cheap bail. Look at this. All right, so I'm actually going to keep Andahar because he uh, he has really good contact vision and clutch, especially against lefties. Um. This guy we can trade at the deadline. So he's a deadline piece. Trevor God is a deadline piece. Maybe Tyler Ferguson, Carlos Perez. All these guys in their 30s can go. These two guys are going through waivers. We took them out to 40 man. So they'll be on our minor leagues, just not. So let me save this. So you've done a whole lot of uh, whole lot of, of transactions as you can see right here. Looking at all of those transactions. <laughs> so let's get a look at this team. So starting pitchers, Garcia, Beto, Estes, Sears, and Spence. Yeah, I, I want to go back and double check. So these guys are all going to be in AAA. Then we got AA, and we'll be adding probably 
five, four or five pitchers. Depends on how the position players make it through the draft. You've upgraded their bullpen. We got a bunch of guys at least that are 70-ish in the overall. Right? And we have some other guys down here. I want to make sure we had plenty of bullpen arms. Mason Miller's locked up for two more years. We got some um, youth behind him. Langlier's McCann are going to handle it here. Um, let's put you at double A. You at single A. Um, got Noda, Soderstrom, and Nevin battling. I mean, Nevin crushes lefties. So I could see one of these two stick in the yellow and go into triple A. We have Nick Kurtz down at the minors. He was their first round pick and uh, he's mashing in real life. So he's our long-term solution right there. Um, Rosario gives us a good bat top of the order. Um, he's not necessarily going to be, he could be lead off guy. He doesn't have a ton of power. Clutch isn't really high, but he's got good vision, good speed, good contact. He could be one or two in the order. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We'll see what Heim Bloom does, man. I, I'm hoping he does well. Now, Senzel gives us great contact and power against lefties and good speed. His clutch isn't great, so he's not a, a middle-of-the-order bat. He'll be a bottom half of the order, but he's definitely going to give us um, some position flexibility because he can play everything but first and catcher. And uh, has a good arm, great discipline, great power contact against lefties. So that's that's always helpful. This guy, I'm hoping we got to put his training on his clutch vision and discipline. And this is a guy I'm uh, putting all my eggs in a basket in to play third base. Um, Tommy White was drafted last year too. He doesn't have much, no speed, no defense. He could be a trade piece. Depends on how he progresses. Shortstop, we're going to go with Jacob Wilson. We're just going to put him in and let him go. Nick Allen is insurance. He's defensive replacement guy. Jeter Downs is just injury depth. Um, Rooker's going to be a DH because he can't fucking play defense at all. Um, Ruiz and Andahar are going to play left. I'll have Ruiz against lefties because he has better speed and clutch. And... Uh, I don't know what Ando Hard do. You got JJ Blade in center field. Yeah. Um, we just added this guy. We've got some other organizational depth. So we have some room to trade. He's already 27 and can't hit righties. Uh, Butler's our long term solution, right? Zach Veen, we got just another guy. Gives us depth, gives us a, a decent player, but. Not real strong in anything, but we have some young outfielders, right? So what I wanted to do is get some some youth in here because it's so hard to find young hitters um, in the draft. So we'll just have to see what the draft gives us. Um, we have any extensions. Luis, what is he? He's arbitration eligible. So we're just going to wait and see how he does. And same thing with Beto. He's renewable. So we'll deal with all this stuff next stream. So if you guys weren't here at the very beginning, we are going to we are going to go fast this first season. I've already eaten up a half hour, 40 minutes, but that's doing all these trades and it'll go fast. We're just going to sim through spring training real fast. Um, and I might just, maybe I will set my, uh, my rosters for, for the MLB. And make sure our younger guys are are playing somewhere in double triple A, um, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna basically fast sim the games and look at the scouting on the uh, draft picks every time it hits on uh, Saturday. Go through Saturday's games, and we'll look at the prospects for the draft. 
We're going to get all the way through to the draft today, get through the trade deadline so we can see what our players are and call it a day. And then the next time we stream, we'll finish the regular season. We'll move the team, do the uniforms, do uh, show you. I'll show you the stadium today. Get through the entire off season at Utah, so free agents and all that good stuff, um, and then get it ready for episode three, which would be our first opening day with Utah, and we'll go back to our old way where we play an entire month in each stream. And we'll play at least two full games, and then do some player lock or whatever. So, but we're gonna we're gonna crush this first season in two streams. So, and as you can see in the project projected free agents, I was talking about that before. All right, done with all those trades. The guys we're looking at for next year would be Teoscar Hernandez, because he could play left field every day. Jack Flaherty, Shane Bieber, Max Fried, Willie Adamas. Luke Weaver, those are guys that we could go. We don't, we won't go after all of them, but those are guys I'm looking at. Depends on how much they're offered, because we have a ton of money. Like I just showed you, we have seventy five million dollars available. <laughs> um, I have to set our sponsorships when we get to the regular season. So you can see over there, we are tenth in power, eleventh in speed, twelfth in contact. So our defense is not strong, and our pitching is not strong. So pitching, we can easily work on pitching through free agency and through the draft. Defense, we're going to need a little help with, but if we can get on base and hit for power and have pretty decent speed, we should be able to score some runs. We won't be able to prevent them, but we can score some runs. So, All right. All right, so that's second base. What is this? Shortstop. Let's put Nickel in there. Pitching rotation. We're just gonna we're gonna zip through here and we'll just sim through, see what their stats are, and then set their uh, major league, triple A, double A rosters. I'll let the computer set the lineups, and we'll go from there. Because I have no, I'm just going slow because I want to see if anybody gets hurt. I really don't. I, I will do like spring training stuff when we actually have prospects that I want to see play. Hey, we went 17 and 14. Check that out. Told you we were going to score some runs. We just can't prevent them, right? Gave up 135 runs, which was second most in the Cactus League. But we scored 132, which was fourth most. So... That's what we're going to do. We're going to score a lot of runs and give up a lot of runs. Rosario hit 340. I told you, those contact and vision, man, you got to get some of those guys. Butler with six home runs and 20 ribs. Rooker hit six. Soderstrom hit well. Kobe Mayo hit well. McCann. Blade did not hit well. We can always move Ruiz to center field if we need to. 
center field has to, we have to find a long-term solution there. So that's something on the radar. Need center field, starting pitching, and let's go back here. Catcher. That's why I signed Langoliers for three years. He's clearly the best catcher all around. Um, not necessarily defensively, but he's got good speed and a lot of power. We know that from playing with him in our A's franchise. First base, you should be able to find somebody out of this group. We're going to need a long-term solution at second. We got our long-term at third. We may have our long-term at short. I don't know. So second and short. And center field could be Rodriguez. Depends on how he develops. In right field, we have Butler. You know, so we'll see how it goes. But now we have some stuff we can trade off if we need to as well. Who's on the trade block? Nobody. Okay. Oh, 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 I was going to show you guys this. So the coaches, we're just going to let these guys go. They're not the greatest. Um, is there anybody? Yeah, he's terrible. He's really bad. Let's get a new third base coach. Let's see if he'll drop this. Can we drop him to eight, 800? Will he take 800? No. 840? There we go. We'll let Katze go and get somebody else next year. He's okay. Bunting is, we, we don't do it, so the other ones are fine. He's a negative all the way around, so we'll just get rid of him. All right, so we got him for three years. So Aldretti's okay. Katze can go away. We'll eventually replace him. So those are better. This is what I wanted to show you, though. Look at these scouts. So Mackenzie Caruso has 94 discovery. If you've watched me do scouting and drafting and all that, you know um, Fiend Franchise over on YouTube has a great way to do the, his his drafts, and I've watched him do his franchises and watched him develop and, and scout and sign players, and he is awesome. I highly recommend going over to his YouTube. Here's his, uh, I'll spell it for you. Just put that, just put that in the uh, search bar for YouTube, and he also does college football, Madden, and NBA. So he does all the sports. So go watch him. Highly recommend. But you need a high 90s discovery dude to go find players. And then these two scouts, normally he's like, all right, get somebody efficiency in the 90s and really good for pitchers and really good for position players and have one do pitchers, one do positions. We found a guy, we found two guys that not only have mid 90s efficiency, but they're also in the 90s for pitchers and position players each. So now we can put both scouts on hitters or on pitchers. So what I'm strongly considering doing this time is have one guy um, scout like central pitchers and one guy scout international pitchers. And then we'll do, try to discover more pitchers as well. Um, and then after five weeks all those pitchers will be up to 80% in those regions. And then we can split those two guys off and not scout any more pitchers until like the last couple of weeks and have them spend the rest of their time. So that's 14 weeks. So that would be nine. So that would be like seven weeks. So we could go after 
possibly 14 hitters to try and scout them up and see if we can get some good hitters in the draft that we can take and not load our draft with nothing but pitching. But we also can take both of them off and go fully scout two pitchers, boom, boom, and be done with them as well. So anyway, that was amazing to find two scouts like this. I'm just hoping they don't retire because they are awesome. So. All right, so what we need to do, always remember, the computer will do send your guys up and down and put guys in your, your roster that you don't want. So before you advance to the regular season, go in here, set your AAA, AA, Major League roster, and then advance the day. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Boyle's going down to AAA. JT Ginn's going to AAA. Salinas is going to AAA. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to go to double. You're going to double. Two, three. Four. Five. And then we have two extra starters in case we get injuries, right? All right. So we'll go with seven. I always go with five starters, seven relievers, one closer. So 13 pitchers. I would rather have 12 and add the, another pitch, another hitter. But um, that seems to be the way major leagues are. They have 13 relievers. So, all right. One, two, three. Yeah, you're going to major leagues. I'm paying you a million bucks, you're going to pitch. And you're going to triple A. And you're going to major league. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to double A. You're going to double A. You're going to double A. Extra triple. Yeah, let's see. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Didn't mean to send you down. So. One, two, he would be three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to class A. The guys had, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of extra relief pitchers. And we can cut some of these guys next year when we draft all these starting pitchers. So one of my major league, this guy is going to AAA. All right, got that. Susak, I want to start. He's backing up him. Okay. So. Hmm. Nota got any, uh, he's got a lot of quirks. But he hasn't used any there. No quirks. It's only 22. We're going to... I'm going to send Noda down. 
We're going to go Soderstrom and Nevin. Kurtz is a double A. Good there. We're going to send you to triple A. We'll go with Davidson and Senzel. Yeah, good there. Um, DH2 there. Yep. Daz is going to triple A. You're going to double A. I do not need all these. Let's put you at double A. Put you at single A. All right, so we need one of those is going. So we just need one at triple A. So. Put Yanni at triple. Groshans at double. And now that pitcher that's going from the major leagues down will be their 26th. All right, so let's go count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We have two guys we need to send down. Two more guys. Two more guys. Two more guys. So he's going down. So that leaves us. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Harris, William Davidson, Allen. So we don't need all of these guys. Davidson can play short. So we're going to send Nick Allen to AAA. All right, so the 27th guy is the one going through weight. We have two guys going through waivers, right? We'll straighten that out. Let me save this. All right, we're going to advance the day. So now we're going to go in here and set our lamps. We've got a Rosario, Wilson, Rooker, yeah, 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 yeah. Sinzel. play Logan. Sinzel's there. Pitching rotation. One, two, three, four, five. He's got the most stamina here. All right. Let's get these sponsorships done. Help us get some more money. And nobody's on trade block. Okay. All right. Prospects. These are our top prospects. So Nick Kurtz, who got taken in real life this past summer. 
Number one, Kobe Mayo, we just traded for as two. Wilson's going to be on the team as three. Spence is on the team as four. So we have some good players. Nobody that's a teenager, though, right? They're all in their 20s, so we need to get some, some draft picks. Um, PPI list. Why is Langoliers on there? And Waldachuk, I don't get so we're not going to get much out of that. That would get us an extra draft pick. Anybody hurt coming out of spring training? Cade Marlowe's out two months. DeGrom pulled a hammy. Shocker. Real Muto's out one to two month. months with a broken ankle. Manessa's three to four weeks. Gabrian Hayes, one to two months. Wow. Carpenter, one to two months. Young, two to three weeks. All right. All right, we are ready for opening day, boys and girls. Shane Bieber. Uh, like I said, we're going to go fast because we got a lot of shit to do. We're already an hour in, and I'm not even close to the draft. So let's just go and... Start looking at the uh, the prospects. So we lose five to three. No home runs. Garcia did not do bad. Zach Jackson did. Three hits for McCann. Auto fix. Auto fix. Thank you. And then we win two to one. Kyle McCann two run homer in the second inning was a difference. Beto pitched great. Bullpen did their job. Okay. Jacob Wilson broke his arm. So our young shortstop is out one to two months. <coughs> All right. That's not a good way to start the season. All right. Nick Allen's coming up. And you're going to go to double A. No, we're going to play Brett Harris at short against righties. And lefties, we can play Nick Allen. All right. Wow. That hurts. And we lost six to four. Lose six to one. Four to nothing. Finally win eight to seven. No home runs. What's up, Batten? No, no problem, man. Here, let me uh, save here, and we can run through real quick what we did. Well, it... Uh, Went to the regular season, so I lost all the spring training transactions. So here's what we did. We traded Schumann and Mason Barnett, a young second baseman, a young pitcher, to Houston for Luis Garcia. Great pitching clutch. He's only 27. He's not making any money at all. 80 overall, B potential. So we got him to go in the rotation to give us a little bit better guy at the top. Okay. Um, we added Brody Brecht from Colorado in a separate trade. Um, we got we got Brecht and Zach Veen for Seth Brown, Alex Wood, and Abraham Toro. We traded Zach Geloff to Baltimore for Kobe Mayo. He's going to be our third base of the future. Speaking of speaking of that. He needs to go back to third. <clears throat> um, we signed a bunch of young guys 
and some older guys to get us a better bullpen. Um, first base, we didn't do anything. Second base, we traded Daniel Hernandez, a young shortstop, to the Reds for Ahmed Rosario to give us a really good bat at the top of the order that can play second base. Uh, we signed Nick Senzel. Not yet. We, you can't rebrand it until the end of the season. So we're just going to go through the through July to right now, today, get through the draft and the all-star break and the trade deadline. And then the next stream, we'll finish the regular season and do all the off-season stuff. Yeah, you got to play a whole season before you can rebrand. So, so Davidson and Senzel are playing right now. Kobe Mayo will be up at some point. Um, we were starting rookie Jacob Wilson, but he broke his arm, and now he's out one to two months. So already in a hole there. Um, we signed some outfield minor league depth. Traded for we traded Max Muncy and Luis Medina to Minnesota for Emmanuel Rodriguez. So we have a young center field. Um, we got Veen in the trade. We signed Moises Gomez. Butler's our long term deal and rate. So that's what we did. Here's our lineup against righties. And our lineup against lefties. And uh, pitching rotation. Got a rule five pick in here we have to use. And just kind of a mediocre bullpen. It is what it is. So we have good contact and power and speed, but our pitching and defense is kind of ass. Eh, so we're just going to try to outscore people. And we're playing this first season in Oakland's normal stadium. Um, so, oh, by the way, I, I made some edits to the new Utah park. And then I showed you the second version of that park that I was working on. And I made some more changes to that one too. So when we get done, uh, with all of the normal stuff here, I'll go show you that before we sign out. So, yeah, I made some changes to that though. Since then I made changes last night. Because there's a, there's a whole Reddit for uh, MLB The Show Custom Stadiums. So I posted some stuff out there. And... Black muscle, yeah. All right, finally. Here, look at this. Look at this. We have two scouts that have efficiency at 95 and 97. Pitchers at 97, 93. Position players at 91, 93. So we've got two stud scouts with another one that has 94 discovery. So this is going to be fun. Yeah. So this guy's going to discover. Um, um, let's do. Discover new prospects. Pitcher. We're going to go central first. And since both of these pitcher, both of these guys do real well with pitchers, we're going to scout starting pitcher central, and we're going to scout starting pitcher international. So we're going to knock out two whole regions up to 80% scouted. So five weeks of scouting those two whole regions, we should have a ton of pitchers that we'll be able to pick from in the draft. And then after these five weeks, Actually, the, the Discover new pitchers, we're only going to do that for four. But these two guys are going to scout those regions for five weeks. And then after five weeks, we're going to shift over hardcore to hitters. Try to discover as many hitters as we can. And these two scouts are going to be hammering away on as many hitters as we can find. And try and get them done as quick as we can while the other one's trying to discover more hitters. And then the last two to three weeks, we can go back and finish off pitchers if we need to. So this is going to get, I'm going to try this. I've never been able to do this. So this will be fun to see what our list looks like when we have two whole regions of starting pitchers scouted to 80%. <laughs> and those are the two biggest regions, central and international. So um, position needs, we need starting pitcher. We need second base and we need uh, 
Yeah, I'll go shortstop. All right, this should be fun. Oh, and by the way, our sponsorship sponsorships, we have three diamonds, so we'll, we'll be making some money. Anyway, so Jacob Wilson, deal with that. We're going to go quick. We're going to go quick. I really don't care. 12 to 9. We finally hit some home runs. Rooker and Andujar. Um, at the end of each month, we'll stop, we'll look at the stats, and see if we need to send guys up or down. And maybe one, six to three. All right, so we're five and ten. We discovered four pitchers. We're looking for NR. Found him. Barma, I will. I'll, well, Katze is done at the end of the season, so we'll let him go. So let's look at this now. We've had a whole week of scouting. So we have a starting pitcher does great at everything but strikeouts and that should get better at time with time fast running fastball sweeping curve change up and splitter great stamina great velocity walks all right does everything but k's that that's a that's good so james reese we pick fourth so i would definitely take him depending on how he scouts out logan fiore draft rank three a's draft rank two Great hitter, no speed. Don't know if he plays any other. He's got really good fielding, too. So if he could play the outfield, that would even be better. If he could play left field or even right field and move Butler to left, that would be awesome. So. God, he's so good fielding-wise, I could move him to shortstop. I'm serious. He could play great shortstop. Wow. That's an idea. He's he's not 6'5". He's six foot tall. So if this guy's there, we pick him. We might have a, you know, Cal Ripken type at short. Not great speed, but great defense and hitting. Hell yeah. This guy's more of a project. He's 22. His potential won't be stupid high, but his overall, he'll be good starting out. Troy Hobbs is a closer, closer, right fielder, McGill. Miguel Madrid. This guy, anytime you see their overall range is higher than their potential, they're a bust. That means they're already going to be above their potential, and they're going to start dropping from day one. So he's like going to be usable the first year, and then he's going to suck the rest of the time. Another good starting pitcher. Look at that. Not the highest potential, but, you know, he could be a B potential in the 70s to start. Ollie Bush. Great potential. He could be another good one. He looks like a leadoff hitter type. Not a lot of speed, but great contact, vision, discipline, speed. He's a center fielder. He could slip over and play some left field and be a leadoff guy. And we could then trade SD Ruiz away for something else. Decent closer. Bill Roper at second base. Here's another one. He's going to be overrated because his overall is going to be higher than his potential. him yeah barton foster in center field another one that's going to be a little overrated philip aparicio looks like he has great potential but he'll start out low grant cox lefty that crushes righties and he has good speed neville rocker <laughs> 
Pardon me. I got no sleep last night. I went to bed at three. This guy could be good. It all depends on how he scouts out. There's another one he can play. He's probably more of a first baseman than a third baseman. This guy, he won't have high potential. He might be one of those that's like a 80 potential and he's a 72 overall, so he doesn't have a lot of growth. But he'd be usable right away, right? He could also be a 70 overall that's 60. <laughs> Monty Smooth, what a name. Diego, if he comes in on a higher end, it would be nice. This guy's got some pop. Cox and Mets look like the best in left field right now. Bush and Foster. Henry Cruz, it's more speed and defense. Miguel Madrid, it's going to be a waste of wasted pick. Man, there's just not a lot. Ciccone. Yeah, I hope I hope we do real well discovering. All right, so we've got... We've scouted 23 pitchers in the Central, and we found four more. But they could be relievers, closers. 33 international. So we're going to get 56 guys at 80%, not counting the ones, other ones we discover. So we're going to have 56 starting pitchers, mostly scouted. So, yeah, this is going to work out great. After five weeks, we're going to have all of those pitchers that high. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of pitchers to pick from. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. This is going to be nice. All right, so... You know what? I feel like doing the player lock. Let's let's player lock with uh, Rooker, since he's our big power bat. And we'll actually get some gameplay in here, get some nationals. And then uh, I'll be just fast sim, fast sim, fast sim, scout, scout, scout. Once we get through this first season, we'll go back to our old format. And this ballpark used to be great until Al Davis made them put that monstrosity out in center field and totally fucked up the sight lines and the outfield walls and everything else. They crushed this stadium by fucking Mount Davis. Luis Garcia. Struggling a little early. All right, DJ Hers, Brent Rooker. This is going to be our big boy, him and Butler. Yeah, we get done with this. Uh, I get all the way through the trade deadline. We will uh, we'll go look at the two parks again and go over the uniform one more time, and we'll we'll get it done next stream. Next stream, we'll finish the season and relo relocate the team, go through that whole process, show you how to do that, bring in all my stuff, make my uniforms. Ah. And then uh, I haven't played I haven't played this game hitting-wise all day, so I'm, I'm struggling. Um, but then we'll get everything set up and get them into their new ballpark and everything. And depending on what the, we do with the draft, um, well, the guy's not going to be in the 40-man roster, so we won't, we won't do the spring training with anybody that's, that's drafted. So we'll just, we'll just 
fly through spring training and then episode three we'll start with opening day against whoever that is Ho hopefully it's a home game it'd be nice if it was a home game Quit throwing me garbage, man. Throw me a fastball. Over the plate fastball. I uh, still have the save file for the Cardinals. I plan on playing, keep playing that on my own off camera just to enjoy that and see how that goes. Um, what's funny is on my uh, MLB 23 I still have the save file for the A's and the Rockies there we go finally got a hit men at the corners nobody out tying runs at third now let's go that's right Logan's going to run for him and we tied the game, but then Alex Wood. I'm sorry, James Wood, not Alex Wood. Alex Wood was the pitcher on our team. Yeah, Miguel Castro blew it. All right. Well, that was fun. We got to play a little bit. Cardinals at home. Beat them five to four. Beat them five to four. Lost eight to five. All right, Jordan Diaz is down in the minors and he broke his foot, so we'll just go auto on that. I don't care. Fix that. What did we do? We beat Fetty, Soderstrom, Blade, and Sinzel with home runs. Newt Barr homered for the Cardinals. Rooker homered for the A's. Asked this pitch great. All right. Why is. Why did Miller not get the save? That's really strange. We'll look at stats and everything at the end of the month. Then we'll worry about sending guys up and down. I'm going to go a little bit slower with that because I usually just blow right through and don't even look at the minor leagues. All right, Shane Bieber, we faced him on opening day, and we lose again. And we lose again. So we're 7-14. and 14. We found two more pitchers. All right. So we're only through two weeks. we got to go three more weeks. We have to go. We will change everything when it gets to week 6 of 14. This one will change at week 5. So. Nothing needs a change there. And we salvage a game out of that series at Yankee Stadium. Let's go there. Let's play one. One, not full game. Um, player lock. Nestor. And who can we use? Yeah, let's play a Senzel. We brought him in because he crushes lefties. Let's see how he does. Langleyers is only hitting 125. That's not good to have that in the middle of the order. It's not like the rest of our guys are doing much better, though. Stanky Stadium. There we go. Over his head. It's a double. That's why we brought him in. Hey, Batten, one of these times, I'm going to start a franchise. I'm going to put everybody in their old stadiums that they have in the game. So I'm going to put the Yankees back in old Yankee Stadium, the Mets back in Shea, Braves back in their stadium. Um, anybody else, Seattle, I can put them in the, the Kingdom. Anybody that has an old stadium, we'll ship them back to their old stadium and play kind of retro. I actually have a uh, downloaded version of... Oakland Coliseum without Mount Davis as somebody made and headed out in the vault I 
Let's see if we can get there. It's a wide throw. All right, so if we can stay out of double play, maybe we can tie this game up. And we are not doing a complete, like, rebuild, go completely young with this team. Um, if there are players on the trade block that I think will help that aren't, you know, 33 years old, um, I have no problem trading for them. Um, I am not trading Mason Miller, Rooker, or Butler. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep those three as our our core, but everybody else we could uh, definitely move. All right, tie game. All right, Langliers with a home run gives us the lead. Do not wait back. And I waited too long. There we go. Shoot that down in the corner. That should score a run. Maybe not. No, he's going to send him. He's out. Did not have the speed. That's all right. Come on, Tyler. Glad hitting 309. I'm glad I uh, brought you up and let you play every day. Hey, he covered the bag unlike Garrett Cole right there. All right, still 2-1 to one in the seventh. New pitcher. So I'm not going to hit as well because he's only like in the 40s or 50s against righties. Maybe I'll work a walk here. Oh, man, I'm tired. No sleep. Not last night, the night before. We had a tornado warning, so our phones were lighting up with alerts at 2.30 in the morning. That, that warning expired at 3, so then we went back to bed. And yesterday, I was up working on Stadium, playing XCOM 2, and I was up till 3. It was, it was tough to get up this morning. And we lose. Because the bullpen. We got to work on the bullpen. Our whole pitching staff needs work. So that's why I mentioned Flaherty, Bieber, and Freed. I'll definitely try to get at least one of those guys signed. Um, Adamas and Teoscar are possibilities. The problem is we can't sign a whole bunch of guys. We won't have any money left. So. And we win that nine to five. How do we do that? No home runs. Who do we beat up on? Stroman and Hamilton. Yeah, lost three out of four there. Beat them one to nothing in ten innings. Wow. Kyle McCann. Look at that. Great bullpen that game. Lost two to one or ten and eighteen. All right, so we're through three weeks. We got two more weeks here, and this will be his last week to discover. Yeah, we'll let him go one more. Should we discover? That's a lot of pitchers. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we go. Let's do outfield now. <clears throat> All right, one, two out of three from Baltimore. 
one out of three from Pittsburgh. All right, we're going to go look at some stats here. All right, the Astros are 11 and 20. Holy shit. The Twins and Royals. This this salary file is salary file. This roster file is the last one that San Diego put out. So it's based on how they've been playing in real life this year. So right now we're a half game out of last in the American League. Look at the Braves, twenty five and six. It's because everybody's healthy. Dodgers are twenty five and eight, twenty three. Yeah, jeez. Twenty three, twenty one, twenty. So we're in a roughly a three way tie for the fourth pick overall. All right, Rooker's doing his job. Rosario's not. McCann's doing well. Soderstrom's slumping a little. Butler hasn't gotten going. It's a terrible batting average. Not much better. Not good. Not good. Not good. Asked this only four walks. Gotta love that. Garcia's not doing great. Mm -hmm. Alexander's done well. Look at Mason Miller. All right, triple A. Kobe Mayo. He might be coming up soon. Jackson, I'm sorry, Jansen Junk. What a name. He's pitching great. Shouldn't be, but he is pitching great. Cole Wynn, got him from Washington. Double A. Hey, look at Gomez. Tristan Gray. Kurtz, Tommy White. Kurtz is not hitting for power. Yeah, pitchers are not doing it down there. <clears throat> All right. One month in, we're 12 and 19. I'm sorry, we were 11 and 20. We were 11 and 20 in April and March. Home against Miami. Lose one nothing. Lose three to two. Back to scouting. We found one outfield. Yeah, nothing special. All right. This is the last week on these pitchers. So we have 58 starting pitchers scouted right now. Hey, we salvaged a win out of that. Lost 7-5. Lost 6-1. 1-9-2. One 8 4 So we split with Texas. Seattle. We lose. All right, Jacob Wilson is back. Man Cave raiding with a party of 22. Holy shit. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? How was your stream, Kevin? How are you? You have a good day today, man? I assume you're playing NCAA, EA, college football. How was your team doing? You about done with your, uh, you getting ready to go to the bowl season yet, or are you still in the middle of the season? The 
real AF2. Welcome in. Big 12 title game on Monday. Nice. All right. I'll have to tune in for that. What time are you going live on Monday? I'll, I'll tune in and, and not uh, distract you by making, making smart-ass comments. I'll actually try and enjoy the game for the games. 115. Okay, I can work with that. So, you guys that uh, are just hopping in, we um, finished up our Cardinals franchise two days ago. Um, got our World Series in year five, and we're done. And we are not playing with the A's right now. We started a brand new franchise. We're going to move the A's to Utah. Yeah, don't make smart ass comments. Like, no one else makes smart ass comments in a stream. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm being that friend that likes to distract you so you can't finish your thought, right? <laughs> so we're, we're quickly going through the entire first season because you can't relocate a team until the end of the season. So we're going to move Oakland to Utah, rename them the Utah Avengers, get a new ballpark and uniforms, everything ready to go. So all we're concentrating on right now is the draft and trading for some players to try and improve the team incrementally. Um, so we've already done a little bit of that. I traded Zach L off to the Orioles. I got Kobe Mayo out of it. Um, we signed Nixon Zell. We traded for Ahmed Rosario, Manuel Rodriguez, um, Luis Garcia, pitcher from Houston. Find a bunch of free agents that were younger that are sitting out there. Um, so we are going to focus on the draft right now and we're, we're just flying through games, fast simming, occasionally doing some player locks and we're going to go all the way through the draft, through the all-star break, through the trade deadline, all of that today. We're going to get four months done, um, today and then, um, the next dream, we'll finish the regular season, do the re relocation process, do our off season, and quickly sim through spring training so that episode three, we can start with opening day with the new Avengers and uh, see how that goes. And I'm sitting here, it's almost four o'clock, so I need to get my ass moving because we're only through one month. So excuse me while we jump in here and go faster. <laughs> All right. Hey, um, Man Cave, check this out. We have a 94 Discovery Scout, and then we have two Scouts that have 95-97 efficiency. They're also in the 90s for both pitchers and hitters. So we have two absolute stud Scouts. So what we are doing is we are scouting, we just scouted two whole regions of starting pitchers. So we have 58 starting pitchers that are scouted a very good chunk. Um, let me show you that. Starting pitchers. So this guy is finished. Uh, this guy is from California, so he's going to have to be done individually. But we've got, there's another one we can do. But we've got a ton of pitchers that are, look at this guy. we got a ton of pitchers that have got a lot of their uh, scouting done. So we have a bunch of options for later in the draft, right? So what I'm going to do now is we're going to switch, let's put him to central. And now we're going to put these two guys on scouting individual hitters until we are done with a good chunk of hitters. And then we will, um, and then we will, um, go back and finish off some of those pitchers that we didn't do. So like this guy, what is he? Let's cancel that. Cancel that. All right, so he is, let's do this guy. There was a first baseman we wanted. This guy. He looks really good. 
<laughs> Check this out. We thought about he's so good defensively and he doesn't have a lot of speed. We thought about moving him from first base to shortstop. Make him a Cal Ripken type dude. If we if he's there. I mean somebody could take him, but that's that's an idea. Scouting outfield no. Scout prospect. And you're going to scout. Huff was another dude, right? Oh, no, no, no. It was Ali Bush. Ali Bush. So we got first base and center fields. So move that there. Move that there. All right. So I'm just going to. Oh, got swept by Seattle. Beat the Astros. Nick Kurtz is out one to two months. Oh, that was our hot first base prospect. That hurts. And. We swept the Astros. How bad are the Astros? They only scored one run in three of those four games and four the other. Wow. They are 18 and 26. So we moved out of last place by sweeping the Astros. Somebody hurt? Mike Trout's out. Shocker. No. They don't have anybody hurt. They're just playing like shit. Oh, my God, Cleveland. He's out for the season. Wow, they got absolutely crushed with injuries. <coughs> wow, so did Boston. My goodness. Corey Seager, shocker. <laughs> we traded for him and he gets hurt. Thirteen to one. That's fucking with five games in a row, six games in a row. We are only twenty-one and twenty-seven, guys. Wow. All right. So this guy is essentially what we thought he was going to be. He can also play right field. Man, I would be very tempted to move him to shortstop. That would solve our shortstop problem. This guy is an A potential. He's an A potential in the like mid mid 60s. Wow. And he's a leadoff hitter type. That would be not so bad. If Fiori was gone, I would I would have to consider taking Ali Bush. What did we find? nothing all right so we'll change him there was another center fielder right no he's overrated he's overrated this was the guy that had power and speed but not much else We could get this guy in a second. Yeah, let's look at this third baseman. So if we could get... We could get a hitter at the top and then get six other pitchers, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Michael Waka. Let's let's uh play our lock in this game. Throw in a little bit of gameplay as we go. Waka's a right-handed pitcher, so we need a left-handed bat. Let's play Lawrence Butler. 
he's improved his average too. He's up to 281. So it's just the, looks like the bottom half of our lineup is ass right now. We got rain in Kansas City. Wish they actually had real waterfalls like that as proper props and stadium creator. They have a waterfall thing, but it's it's not like that. It's got those things. See where it says Royals and Tops and all that stuff? Those little advertisement things. It has that as well, but it also has like a wall, and so you can't clip them together very easily. Hey, RBI got the lead. There we go. Larry the Butler. All right, Kyle McCann. And that's going to be the whole play. Got him. Right, at least we got a run out of it. This guy's a rule five pick, so we can't send him down. Rosario gets an RBI. All right, two nothing. Yeah, don't chase that. There we go. Two line drive singles in the left. Help that average. Want me to go? Okay. Stolen base. There we go. There we go. Cannot forget, there's two of those pitchers at the top of the list that we don't have scouted because they weren't in Central or International. We can't forget to go back and get those. And he tags me out. Um, so we might... I might do them next just so I don't forget about them. And now we're down 4-2. to two. Oh, crap. Be more patient. I must say that Royals scoreboard they have in center field is not very big it's very tall but it's not very big and they cram more information on that scoreboard than some of the other really big ones wide ones they do not have a whole lot of wasted space in that scoreboard in real life i've been to i don't know four games or so five games in kansas city definitely four maybe five The A's had McGuire and Canseco back in like 89 or so. I saw a Friday night and a Saturday afternoon game there. And then we uh, surprised our kids and took them to see a game against the Royals. My son had a baseball tournament in Columbia, which is in the middle of the state. And they lost um, earlier than expected. So we acted like we were just driving home on Sunday, but we drove to Kansas City instead. And we sat in the upper deck right behind home plate great view and then uh in the front part of the upper deck and then i took my son to kansas city to see the uh, blue jays play when he was like 14 15 years old all right drew a walk has been on three times Come on, McCann. Park one, buddy. I know you don't like hitting against lefties, though. It's right there. Just pinch hit with one of the layers. And Blade is going to strike out because he sucks against lefties, too. Well, he strikes out. I'm going to get some candy because we have a bunch of candy left over from Halloween. I don't like to hand the candy out. I'd rather just keep it and eat it myself.
Well, we had 10 hits. Just couldn't pitch as well. All right, Colorado. Lose, win, we got the shutout. Lee Kane? Yes, Garcia. Dude, we just got from uh, the Astros in the preseason of spring training. Butler with a home run. Nick Kurtz is still injured. Mazzotti is out for a day. See, that's five straight wins this month against the Astros. And we finally lose. Scouting. So they say he's going to be a B potential and be in the 70s overall. Not bad. And he's going to have great contact and great power against lefties, a little bit less against righties, great discipline, good vision, really strong arm, good feeling, accuracy is a little eh, reactions there. I'm telling you right now, if we get this dude, I might move him to shortstop. Seriously. And this guy, we're picking at what? 39? If he was there, he probably won't. He'll probably go. But if he was there, that wouldn't be a bad consolation. His arm strength, we could move him to first base or left field. All right. Who did we discover? Not rated, not rated, not rated. All right. Um, let's leave them for one more week. And let's go make sure we don't forget about these pitchers. So we'll hit him up. Hit him up. All right, so we've got all of June. Then we got to do the draft. We got to we got to get going a little bit here. We beat them again. So we've beaten them six out of seven times this month alone. All right, Tampa Bay, we win, we lose, we win. We are six games under five hundred. We are not in last place. The Angels and the Astros are behind us. Still six and a half games out of the wild card. So we're probably not going to do that. And we travel to the Braves and win four to one. McCann, one to two weeks. We'll let the computer take care of that. We'll look at our stats again here. Shelby Miller. Went to the Mariners for Luis Urias. Manzardo went to the Mariners for Victor Robles. Henry Davis went to the Nationals for Jarlin Susana. Brewers got Lo Castro for Wes Clark. Nothing major there. Brian Abreu goes to the Giants for Jordan Hicks. Josh Lowe for Chris Martin. Ooh. Max Clark. They always trade Max Clark. So he goes to Tampa Bay for Pete Fairbanks. That is a Tampa Bay trade for sure. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at counter-wise? Got to go look at stats. All right, let me save, and then we'll go look at standings and stats again. Eight games out, seven games out there. The worst teams. Tigers, White Sox, Rays. The Mets. Mets and Cardinals. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, Rooker, 271. Rosario, 255. It's coming up. Butler, 299. McCann's hurt. Soderstrom's tanking a little bit. He's not doing great. He's a... Uh, 
Pitching wise, yes, this is doing really well. Sears and <clears throat> Beto are struggling. Alexander's doing a good job. Ferguson's doing a good job. Mason Miller's pitching great. Triple A. Mayo's tearing it up. All right. I'm going to keep him down at Triple A until the All Star break, and then we'll bring him up. I want him to keep going because his average is a little bit low. He's he's improving. So we're just going to keep him down at the break. We'll bring him up and let him play third base. Nevin's crushing it down there, but again, that's against lefties. So is Noda. You know what? We'll flip those two. Pitching wise, nothing special. Bullpen's doing pretty good down here, though, which is amazing because their overalls are not great. Double A. He's doing really well. So is he. A lot of these relievers are doing well. And you can see we need pitching. <clears throat> Gomez, not bad. Bowman. Yeah, our double A sucks right now. So, all right. Oh, of course, my son. Every single stream. Every single stream. Hold on. I got to answer some questions here. All right, I got a college match that I need to go accept. So, <clears throat> all right. So let's see how this does. We got Noda and Soderstrom flipped, and we can fix that. What happened here? Noda went two for two. RBI. Garcia's five and three now. Why is Miller not pitching in relief or closing? What the fuck? He should not be doing setup. He should be closing. I don't I don't understand. I don't get how this game works. All right. JT Gen, yeah, screw you. Got the win. Yeah, same with you. Butler, Langliers, Blade with home runs. That's good. That's good. Miller gets a save. Giving up 10 runs. Rally and Hanniger homered. Rally Hanniger with two. Rooker with a home run. Austin Adams got pounded. That's what the problem was there. And we win four to three. Julio Rodriguez with a home run. Spence did well. Look at God. 18 innings. My goodness. 
crushed our bullpen. Six games out of the wild card, seven out of the division. Almost got to 500. So, baby steps, right? Baby steps. All right, home against Toronto. Six to four. ST Ruiz is out one to two weeks. We'll just let it automatically pick for us. And now let's go look at scouting. All right. So and since these guys are both 21 years old, this guy is definitely a B potential in the 70s. Would not have a problem taking him at all. So if we don't get the first baseman, we can take him. This guy's a lefty. Sinker, slider, curve, change, cutter. <coughs> yeah, he's a little overrated. Looks like he's could be. He looks like he could be maybe right at an B, an 80 overall with right at 70. This guy's the definite better. So we've got the the first baseman and we got this guy. Remember, we picked fourth, so. Not bad there. We have him as number one. Nothing but heat. Doesn't have, doesn't have great strikeouts or hits per nine. We can get him done in a week. Let's go back to position players. Yeah, let's look at this guy. First base starting pitcher. Let's go infield international. See if we can find some infielders. <clears throat> Right, win two out of three against the Padres. Rosario's, I mean, with that contact, he should be hitting a hell of a lot higher than that. Pitching's doing better. His overall's dropped. His overall's gone up. Spence might be a keeper. Sears has gone up. Vito's regressing. You might want to trade him at the deadline. Thirty-year-old rookie. Actually, let me look at this. Um, Rooker. Hitting has gone down a little bit. Butler's doing fine. He keeps going up. Langlier's is still going up. Um, Ruiz is hurt. Senzel is improving. Today, Mayo plus six power against lefties. Gotta love that. Andahar is regressing. Could trade him. Shortstop. Wilson. He's got the hit tools. He just is disciplined in his clutch here. Yeah, I don't mind that. No, we're not doing that. Why would you train a pitcher on that?
Why they have pitchers? Yeah, I don't mind that. Why they have pitchers training fielding? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. You need to be training there. Nevin, you're fine. Das, Bean. They're good. All right, here we go. At the Twins, we win. And we lose. And we lose again. All right. So this guy is a B potential in the 70s. 22 years old. So he just his home runs per nine is the only bad thing. He's not a high upside, but he's, he's, he's good enough. He could throw him in the rotation right now and let him go. And if he plays well, he could push up so not a bad choice not my first choice but he's not bad this guy looks like he's a c potential in the 50s so we got that out of the way infielders give me a good one nope 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 all right let's do cox just in case. And Mets. So two left fielders. All right. Getting closer. Jacob Wilson out for a day or two. That's fine. He's back. Estes back. God, yeah, I don't care. We're only three games under 500, guys. Yeah, not anymore. And we lose again. All right, scouting-wise. This guy looks like a B potential in the high 60s with great speed and stealing, really good power against righties. So, not great. I mean, he'd be okay for someone down in the draft. We're not taking him fourth. This guy's got a little more power than he originally showed. So, but for some reason, I guess his potential isn't high, so that's why he dropped. But that's, hey, if he would drop to our um, pick at 39, I wouldn't be disappointed. Any other infielders? Go central there. Antigua. This case overrated, and I'm going to waste my time. Wow, that guy's all over the board. 101st. Hey, I'll, I'll scout this guy. It's worth scouting this guy just to see if maybe we could sneak him later. Just to see what he is, because he's got a wide gap, but depending on what end of the spectrum he hits. All right. 
Getting closer, edging closer. And we got swept. Beat the Angels. Lose again. Let's uh, let's play a lock in this game. What do we got? Left-handed pitcher. Let's go Rooker again. No, there's not a lot of action going. This is mostly for us to uh, build this team up, make some trades, let the young guys play a little bit, see if they can develop. And uh, we'll do uh, a lot more action next one when we get into the offseason. We can sign some free agents, make some other trades. We're going to make a couple of more trades here at the deadline, so see what we can get. I might package them together because you get more when you put them together than do them individually. Way out in front of that pitch. When we move these guys to Utah, we will no longer be green and gold. We will be navy blue, baby blue, and a metallic gold like how the Rams used to have when they were here in St. Louis. Fucking change ups kill me in this game. There we go. Our first boom of the day. Three run bomb, too. Adios, 473. <laughs> wow. Not at Coors. 473 in LA. My goodness. He hit that way higher than Bo Jackson did at the All-Star game. He almost hit that above the backdrop. My goodness. I know the wind's blowing out, but 473. And he got another one. <laughs> Over the car. Now you know why I signed this dude to an extension. My goodness. Do I still have this in here? No. I'm still barely hanging on. All right, can I hit three with Rooker? I haven't mean, had a three home run game in a little bit. It's too high. He does have low power, that's for sure. Not low as in rating, as in low in the, in the strike zone. He has a lot of power. A lot of power in the bottom half of the zone. That's probably how I should have said it. One ball, two strikes. Come on, Suarez. Going right over the middle. Tried to hold up. I flinched. Never good when you flinch. And we have a tie game. Man on, one out in the ninth. Yep. Still tied in the 11th. Quijada. Ah, I was behind on a changeup. Said it was good, but it felt behind. That's not going to be deep enough.
And we lose. All right, two for six with four RBI, two home runs. Lose again. Just again. Scouting wise. All right. Mets, the left fielder. Looks like he's going to be high 70s and low 70s. C potential. Great hitter. Terrible defense. But he's going to be close to his max right off the rip. Shipley's going to, he looks like he's sitting right at what he is. We'll just keep scouting him because he would be a nice later round pick. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bert Colbert. Doesn't have a lot of power. Dude comes in on the higher end of his thing, though. All right, we're going to have to scout him. Yeah. Why you discover? Um, let's see if we can do catcher. Find another catcher. All right, so we have one more week that we can scout, which will be, we can pick our, our players to scout, which will be there. And then that'll be the last week. And the draft is right here on the 13th. Um, Yeah, not going to be close to the uh, home run derby. So we won't have anybody in the home run derby. So that's fine. All right, let's go look at stats. So now we've fallen off, had a bad month, two and eight in our last 10. So we went from third place to last. 47 puts us nowhere near the very bottom. Still be possibly top ten. Um, so this is we're ranked twenty fifth. Still have good contact. Our power is not as good as it should have been. Pitching and defense. Rooker's doing his job. Don't have much power outside of that. Got to be happy with those two guys. These guys are okay. Pins, not bad. We just don't have any pop right now. So I'm going to trade up. Matt McLean, Pete Crow Armstrong. I'd love to get him to play center field. Josh Smith, Oriano kills lefties. Stone Garrett. He went from an A to a B. Tyler Nevin. We could trade Nevin and get Stone Garrett. He only has eight home runs. Yeah, his power is only against lefties. Evan Carter, really? 198? Man, they tanked his ratings bad. All right. 
We're almost to the draft, guys. Slugfest. 11-10. Rangifo, Trout, Adele, and Wagaman homered for them. Only Nick Senzel for us, but he drove in five. That means he probably hit a grand slam. Beto. Yeah, we're going to have to trade him away. Lose. Win two to nothing. Who got that? Mitch Spence. Doing work. All right. Eight to five over the Baltimore. 10-9. No home runs. We are just not hitting home runs. Man, they hit four. Rooker, Langoliers, Butler, Harris, wind must have been blown out. 14 innings. Wow. All right, scouting-wise. This catcher is done. It's nothing special, but he's good defensively. Can hit a little bit. Doesn't have a lot of pop. I would consider him. And this guy... We won't know until next week. All right. View prospect list. Looks like a B potential. Another guy. Really good contact, but power's not much there. This guy's going to be in the 50s. Be in the 80s with 50 at 22. That's not good. Shortstop. We won't get him fully scouted in one week. He's all speed and defense. This guy's overrated. All right, final week of scouting. On a losing streak. Got the win. Cole wins out one to two weeks. All right. Man, we were like four games from being at 500, and now we're... Almost 10 games under. 
So, send that. Yanni Hernandez broke his arm. He's out two to three months. All right, so Alford is listed as the number one prospect. We have this guy as two. Three, five, six, seven. Ooh, this is the guy we found. We might be able to get this guy later. He'd probably be in the 60s, 80 overall, 60s, 80-something potential. He looks more like a second baseman than a third baseman. Okay, all right. Colbert. Add all these guys to the list, and then I'm going to go back through and push all of these hitters higher up so I don't miss them. Sure, all these hitters are go before we get to them, but I want to slide them up the list just in case so we don't miss them. Shipley can stay down there. Huff can stay there. All right. Here we go, boys and girls. You guys that love the draft. We pick fourth. Last pick as the Oakland A's. Somebody with long, flowing locks. Who is it? Chris Alford, the number one guy in the draft, goes to the Guardians who do not need any more young pitching as it is. Yori is that uh, first baseman we're trying to move. There's Valencia. Not bad at all. No Fiori. Save him for us. We want him to play shortstop. There we go. All right, guys. We have four minutes. So they say this guy here, who's not bad, low 90s, sits in the low 90s as a left-handed pitcher. He's He doesn't do anything spectacular. Okay. So if you split the middle, that's about low 90s potential, low 70s overall. This guy's he's going to be a pretty high potential, but a low overall. Walks and home runs per nine are his problem. He only throws three pitches. Don't like pitchers that throw three pitches. Ooh, good stamina hits. Mm, this guy, he's a B potential in the 70s. And Fiori's going to be no higher than 90, so he'll be a B potential in the 70s. This guy's an A in the mid-60s. He's 22. Man. I want the hitter. You can tell I want the hitter. Just kills lefties. Absolutely crushes lefties. And he's pretty good against righties. His feeling's a little bit less. All right, guys, what do you think? Help me out. We got two minutes. You can get a guaranteed A potential. But he's only going to be in the mid-60s, so it means he's going to take several years, and he's already 22. This guy's 19, and he we know he can hit, and he has pretty good defense, doesn't have any speed. And we have these three pitchers. 
think Reese is the best of the pitchers. Reese and Gun. It's Reese. So it's between Fiori and Reese. We could use both. There's going to be a lot of other pitchers that we can draft. And I can sign some free agent pitchers to help us buy time. We're taking Fiori. Let's see if we get Colbert, the third baseman, in the next round. And Reese went to the White Sox the very next pick. Man, <clears throat> that was tough. Tough decision. There goes Ali Bush. It's going to take him a little while, but they got a good player. There was really no wrong answer, but Cardinals going to get gun. No. Alvaro Nunez. Not bad. Not great. Todd Barney. They took a relief pitcher. Frederick Hill? Oh, yeah. He's a B potential in the 70. Not bad. He's just... He's not going to have much high upside. There goes Cody. He's the guy that only had three pitches. So we're looking at Gunn. Gun, Colbert, and Freehand. There goes the first baseman. Mets. <clears throat> there goes Gun. Louis Loftus. All right, we're just going to skip ahead. And all of those hitters went. Capriccio, Colbert. We discover them late. Fucking twins. Cox. Freehand. Roper's overrated. All right. Ooh, he's got gas. It's like Manny Cordero is the dude. <clears throat> He's injured, so we don't want to take him. Wow. All right, what, what are we picking? 72? Dude, he's going to be in the 50s at 20 years old. Not good. Not good. Hmm. All right, we'll take the guys that will have the uh, better chance for potential.
Wow. The end of the draft is rough. All right, we'll take the injured dude. Home run derby. No, there's three Yankees. Three Yankees. Shohei. I'm sorry, two Yankees. Shohei has 39 home runs at the All-Star break. All right, sign our picks. All right, let's go look at some stats for AAA. Mayo's got 20 home runs. All right, that's what we were waiting for. Let's see what we can get for this guy. Don't need Urias. Rasmussen is not a reliever. He's a starting pitcher. Miguel Vargas to play second base. Bill Brennan. Can get another really good bullpen guy. Call up a starting pitcher. Vest leads and saves frequently. Nacho, Nacho Alvarez.
Wouldn't be opposed to getting another shortstop in the system. Jose Alvarado, we can get a a potential. We may have to trade with Alvarado. That would definitely help our bullpen. All right, Phillies, you don't have to twist my arm. And Kenta Maeda. 53. Jeez Louise. That's so low. Spencer Turnbull. Jacob Junis. GK Hernandez. Manny Machado. <laughs> we can get Machado for Miguel Andahar. They were just trying to get out of that contract. <laughs> Manny Machado Computer One fifty five. Wow. Wow. They dumped they dumped Alvarado because of his high contract. He's got two more years, but that pitching clutch, man. That gives us a lefty, stud lefty in the bullpen. All right, so now we gotta fix. We gotta call up a pitcher. Two, three, four. Is Chunk even on the 40 man? No. But we can add him. And we'll move him up to the major leagues. And he'll go to triple A. And he'll go to double A. And who's getting sent down? Austin Adams. All right. So, lineups. Wrong team. There we go. All right, third base is Mayo, and he's going to go higher than you two guys. Yeah, we'll set you there. Sinzel's playing short. Where are we going to play you? You're not in center field.
Now we have a stud left-handed pitcher for the bullpen. Seven million's a bit high for a reliever, but um, that starting pitcher sucked. We've got other guys that we we can use instead, and um, maybe the bullpen having the stud in the pen with Miller will help us settle that down. All right, we only have two guys left. <clears throat> and we got a 6 nothing win to finish that series. Butler with a home run. Garcia's 9-3. and three. That was a good trade. He signs. So we have $9.49 million left to spend. He's basically a younger Nick Senzel. Yeah, don't think so. Blade and Clark Elliott for Pete Crow. Wonder if we could substitute somebody else for Elliott. He's all defense and speed. Um, trade him Tommy White. That gets a deal done. Groshans would too. You trade them two center fielders, Mazzotti and Blade for Pete Crow. He would give us a definite center fielder to patrol out there in that big ass ballpark. You know what? I'm going to make this trade because we need that defense and that speed in our outfield for next year. We'll take a hit a little offensively, but that that is who we need to play center field. Probably should trade him something other than Mazzotti. Let me see. They want relief pitcher though, don't they? Did I just send Austin Adams down? Why would you want Austin Adams? Well, we have Mayo, so Tommy White is not going to do it. Can they give us something else back? No? Tommy's got he's got the hits. It's a 
really don't want to trade him. I can trade you Groshans, though. What else can we include? If we if we throw in Adams, what can we get out of you? <laughs> All right, we're going to make this deal. Screw it. We got Pete Crow to play center field. Thank you. This guy is not a relief pitcher. He's a starting pitcher, but for some reason, it's another reliever. Don Garrett. Walter, Chuck, and Andahar, two old guys. All right, we won't take advantage of them. It's going to sit out against lefties. Okay, that's fine. We have an empty spot, but we just drafted seven guys, so we don't need to fill it. All right, chance and junk. The Cubs want Mason Miller now. No, we just traded with you. Pete Crow with three RBIs. Kobe Mayo, three RBIs. Mayo with a home run. There we go. Look at that. The two young guys shoved in the lineup all of a sudden. All right, Fiori. 8.5. He signs. Contract extensions. All right. Let's see what we can do. Five years. 8.9. Five years, 8 million. How about we go three years? Three years, five. All right, 
three years, 5.7. He's on a renewable. No. He's renewable. Renewable. Renew. Or renew, guys. You don't need to resign. Rosario. Get 250. He's a free agent. Let's see if we can get him for two years. Two years at 2.2. There we go. All right. What do we have money wise? We've only spent 44 million and we got 26 committed for next year. All right. We got a lot of money. A lot of money to play with. 14 games out, eight games back. We're not a playoff team, but we got better. We got everybody signed. All right, so basically we need to get through this next week and see what our draft picks turned out to be. I'm not real confident with um, our later picks. We'll just see what it is. We had a bunch of guys scouted, but they didn't turn out to be worth a shit. So, um, let's send that. Spence is out one to two weeks. God damn it. Win, loss, loss. Win. All right, Rutgers got 18. Butler's got 15. Rosario, Ruiz, Andujar, Senzel, McCann, Noda. Noda's crushing. Pete Crow. I wish I, I wish he would split it out so I know what he was doing with each team. Mayo's got three. Junk's doing okay, not great. Better, he's doing better than the guy you replaced. All right, Kyle Harrison. Let's go in here, do a player lock, and let's do with Mr. Mayo. There we go. It's the guy we traded Zach Geloff to get. It's our new third baseman. And our draft pick, we're going to have to look to see, because if he can play shortstop, that's where we're going to put him. I need to see what his defense looks like. Man, that sunshine is just nasty. Yeah, and I said we were going to play with the Giants next year, didn't I? Maybe we don't. Look at that. Can't even see the ball. Now it's better. Ah. His clutch is killing him. Got to get his clutch up. Nice pitch. Blue Jays willing to discuss trades with Vladdy Jr. We had him on the A's last time, so can't do that all over again. Rucker with a hit. We're up three nothing. Rangers, eight straight wins. Ah. All right. Hesty Ruiz with a two run homer. It's six to nothing. Good scoop. He's with the win. <clears throat> I was the only one. Oh, Wilson and Mayo, the only ones without a, a hit. But hey, Rooker's up to 60 RBIs. Sean Spann. I guess he got called up or made to uh, get a spot start because we had What's-His-Face dinged up for a few days.
Yeah, shocked. Is that all right? We all trade blocks. Go team by team. <clears throat> this is the deadline. <clears throat> Zardo, we've had him before. I yeah, can't have him giving up home runs. Torrens. Stone Garrett. Man, McLean. Butler and Spence. Yeah, we're not making that deal. I understand why you asked for that much, but I, yeah, no. Um, Domingo Harmon. Triolo, bench player. We'd be flipping two guys at the for the exact same reason. So JC eight ERA, my goodness. I can catch. Wow. <laughs> yeah, don't think so. All right. I think we're done trading. Let's just sim it. And sim again. And before we look at our guys, we are 50 and 60. Eleventh in contact, nineteenth in power, pitching and defense. Speed is higher. Um, we got to get our our defense. I'm not so worried about our defense as much. And sim is we got to get our pitching. Got to get more power, and we got to get a pitching. So we know what we need to work on. Rooker, Rosario's not bad. Butler. So those are our two bats in the middle of the order. We need a couple more. We need somebody for left field. If we can get a catcher, great. Um, Mayo should produce at third. 
that sh- if we can move that dude to shortstop, otherwise we can put him in left field. Right field, move Butler to left. And then we'd really have to work on catcher and second base and shortstop. And Willie Adamas will be a free agent. We have the money. We could get him to play short. Go get a pitcher. Yeah, we don't have a lot on the farm. Bullpen, every level has been pretty good. <clears throat> All right, Langoliers, McCann. He was hurt before. Perez, Choir. Yeah, we need another catcher. He's doing well. He's doing well. Soderstrom's doing great. His defense isn't good enough to move back to, to uh, catcher. We don't have a second base prospect. Here's our starting guy there. We could move White to second. His defense is atrocious. All right. Here we go. He's an 82 overall with 73 right now. 82 potential, 73 overall. And that fielding is not going to be shortstop. Great arm. Yeah, and he's crushing lefties, so. He might be a uh, left fielder. Like the power, though, right off the rip, man. At 19 years old. So we can get his, his uh, if he can hit well against the righties what we need to do is stick him down in double a and let him just crush double a and then move him up to triple a so he might be two full years three full years away this guy's 84 potential 63 uh, 56 stamina this guy's going in the pen that sucks god another one with low stamina Finally, he, he's got terribles per nines. Can strike people out, though. Man. Man these two guys are going to get up in the pen. Look at the other guys that we were considering. Cody, we thought about him, didn't take him. Ooh, Aparicio was terrible. Man, they took nothing but relievers. Holy shit. Ooh, Foster was a 75, but 74 overall with a 70. 75 overall with 74 potential. That's not good. He's he's as good as he's ever going to be at 18. <laughs> this guy's 72, 82. He can hit for sure. We had him written down. Move. Can't field. Great hitter. Can't field.
Oh, man. We thought about taking this guy, and we didn't take him. We could have had this guy instead of the pitcher, or the first baseman. We debated, and we didn't take him. Yeah, we took the wrong guy. Should have taken the pitcher. They said he was the best pitcher out there. Wow. Ollie Bush, we thought about him too. Bad defense. Great hitter. Great contact hitter. Great speed. Like I said, 65 overall. It's Colbert. This is the third baseman we found. Looks like a second baseman. The power hitting third baseman. Yep. This was the guy, Liam Gunn. Should have took him. He didn't throw hard, though. Does not throw hard at all. He just said he's 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 not bad. I mean, he's usable right away. Maybe he only needs one year in the minors. Put him in double A. Move him to triple A. Give him one full year in the minors. See if we can get him up to like a 77. Yeah, these two guys, maybe they'll help us as relievers, but they're pitching clutch. Oh, this guy's terrible. All right, well, could have been better, could have been worse, but... We are done, boys and girls. We're halfway through the season. Next stream, whenever that is, we will um, we will finish off the regular season, sim through the playoffs because we're not making the playoffs. We'll relocate the team, and um, Then try and make some moves in the off season. You guys want to see what the ballpark looks like? I did make a few changes, so it doesn't look exactly the same. Doc and Jedi, thanks for hanging out here after the raid, man. Appreciate that. All right, so this is the one that I'm planning on using, but I have a second one that I've been messing with. They're completely different. So I'll show you what we're looking at. So this is this is the uh, batter's eye, so you can see. Got a lot of brick out there. And if they didn't have the bullpens here, we would have bullpen there and a bullpen there. The cool thing is we've got the see-through fence. i got the fans standing out here. So if you're standing out here watching the game, this is your view. Got a restaurant over here. These are funny. These these right here are buildings. It's like an art art building, and I sunk it into the ground. It's got it's got uh, let's see if it's on this side. Does it have it on this side? Yeah, we'll lift this one up. No, it doesn't have it. Yeah, I'll show you on this side. It's got a uh, big... Oh, that's not it. Where is it? It's got a big mural on the side. But anyway, it's sunk down, so it looks like we have suites down here. 
And then there's a little party box on top, so you can come stand up here. And that's your view to see the ballpark from there. And then we get some more seating here, concessions, more boxes in the corner. They're all standing down here. I got concessions, another concession stand. Got another hot dog place right there. Concessions on the back side. And then if you want to see what it looks like at night, these these things here, I just found these lights, these lights right here. You'll see them lit up there in multiple places. I just found them and added them, so it's really cool. We have some standing room only down here in front of the, the box seats. But when you look at night, then you can see those lights are lit up. It gives it a little more depth out there, a little more character. So that's the one I'm planning on using. And I'll show you the other one that I've been working on last night and today. These are all stadiums I made, by the way. This one is a completely different look. I started with the same stadium, and I, I changed the seats, different type of seating in left field. See, I got a tall wall over here. Um, got this building built in to the side. And you got fans standing out here on the deck, you know, like little party boxes. You got a green space up here with them standing up here. Um... Today, I just added these extra overhang seats with some, some party suites there. Um, and on the back side, I got some advertisements there for the walkway. I even included a street. There's a little gallery over here. Got a fence all the way around. There's your, like your little uh, Hall of Fame type thing. Team store. Double-sided bathrooms. Little kids play area out here. Center field. These corners. I just threw some uh, bushes in there because they won't let you make them tight like the major leagues. But we have a tr classic triple deck. And I just did this. I got to get high enough so you can see it. Put these squared off sections to give it a different type of angle. We got concessions. I need to put some other seating up here. We got concessions all the way around. Another little party area. Team store, restaurant, bathroom. Um, we got monuments out here with the trees. Another area where you can stand. Concessions. show you what it looks like again from behind home plate there's your batter's eye and here it is at night so you can see i put those lamps across the top of the wall there goes all the way across jig jags down there it's pretty cool so might have to uh, make this for a different team but it, it's pretty cool i like it enjoy it Both of them hold 56,000. So, anyway, still none of those none of those beat the uh, treehouse one in Oakland that I made because that's uh, that's this bad boy right here. If you haven't seen this from last year. I love this park. Easily my favorite park that I've made. And we've hit home runs off that scoreboard, hit it above the hit it here. Um, I hit one in Diamond Dynasty with Jorge Soler that hit the, the roof of this building. It was like 506 or 7 or some shit like that. And we got a pool out here and concession stand and shit. 
We had a Burt Campanaris restaurant, Campy's Corner, where people sit down here and sitting up there. Another weird angled piece that ties ties these two decks together with a scoreboard up there so everybody can see it. It's a uh, a fake retractable dome. Here's what it looks like from above. And it's called a treehouse because we have these tree houses out in center field. And I've got people standing up there watching the game, sitting in the stands here. Here's your view. Can't see he's dead center field, but people at the top have a better view. So, anyway. All right, boys and girls, retired numbers, yeah. I wish they would have just the numbers or have a circle with the numbers on them. Instead of that stupid wood plank thing, those are all retired Oakland A's numbers. They could do so much better, but they don't give a shit because they don't make any money off the stadiums. They just want you to play Diamond Dynasty. Buy packs. All right, we're done. Who's out here that we can raid? I need to... Uh, my wife's going to be home in about not quite an hour, maybe right around an hour. Burgers and fries. I love burgers and fries. Go cook them out on the grill. Let's go uh, hit up V-Dub. He's playing EA Sports College Football. And uh, I'll leave you there. Um, I don't know when I'll be back again to finish the season. Um, probably not tomorrow um, or Sunday. Um, Maybe Monday night. Hell, maybe even election night. <laughs> Get tired of watching the coverage. So. All right. Let's go get this ready for V-Dub. And uh, when you guys are ready, we'll head on over there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We are blowing through this first year on purpose. And we'll get back to our regular uh, how we play the game. Um, like we did the others here while this is queuing up and you guys are getting ready. Here's our uniforms one more time. These are the uniforms for uh, Utah Avengers. That's what they're going to look like. So we'll have to create those in the off season, but that's what we are. So anyway, you guys take care and you have a good rest of the night and I will catch you later. Check notifications if you're on my discord or uh, on here and uh, you guys have a good one and I will catch you later on. Thank mm -hmm. you.